Welcome to the introduction to the time value of money, brought to you by Canjo.com. Let me start by saying congratulations, you've won the Conjolian National Lottery. Now you can spend your entire life drinking pina coladas by the beach in the wonderfully fake nation of Kenjolia. Now you have two options for payment. You have a choice between one million Kenjolian dollars today or one million Kenjolian dollars three years from now. Which one of these are you going to choose? Most people would choose the first option and they would be right. The first option is better because it gives you more choices at no additional cost. For example, with one million Kenjolian dollars today, you could spend the money on current bills or you could invest it and earn even more. And let's say you didn't feel like doing any of those things. You could still keep the million dollars and have it three years from now. So there is no good reason to choose the second option. It makes sense to take the money now. This principle is that a dollar today is worth more than the same dollar tomorrow. And that is called the time value of money. So now that we've established that given a choice, it's better to have the same amount of money sooner rather than later. But how much better is it? More specifically, how much is the time value of money actually worth? The answer to this question lies in a concept called the discount rate. The discount rate is an interest rate used to determine the time value of money. And you can think about it like this. It's the interest rate people have to pay you in the future in return for using your money right now, today. It's determined by a number of macroeconomic forces. I'm not going to get into it. It constantly changes, um, but I'll probably try to talk about it in a future video. But for now, let's focus on understanding how we can use the discount rate to determine the time value of money. So let's go back to our lottery example. We got $1 million in 2009, and we have a discount rate of 10% per year. So we can now determine that in 2010, we'll have $1 million plus the 10% of $1 million based on the 10% discount rate equals $1.1 million. So what we can infer is that with a 10% discount rate, $1 million in 2009 is going to equal $1.1 million in 2010. That's really all there is to time value money and discount rates. Um, thank you very much for watching. For similar videos on the topic, I recommend you check out www.canjo.com.